Welcome to Tingston Invest. We talk about investing, finance, and professional development. I saw quite a time of 8.35 a.m. on the Eastern Time on May 31st on Tuesday. Today is the last day of May. The overall market uh, is uh, opening on a relatively flat note, um, obviously with respect to Ethereum. And just across the crypto market during this weekend, because of a lack of media affectation, driving buying pressure uh, reaching to $2,000 as a substantive consolidated level. But as of this morning, um, across the spectrum, um, seems like there are some, you know, international volatility that's coming into the spectrum again. Um, and it seems like, you know, the topic of discussions of, as of this morning is uh, coming from basically two things. So one is with respect to Russia uh, hitting back at EU's partial oil embargo, saying that, you know, if they're going to be restricting them, they got to find other importers for its crude oil sources anyways. So with that being said, obviously, it's some uh, conflictions uh, going on, um, you know, stem from the oil exchange uh, on an import and export perspective, um, driving the oil price to go up to be about close to about $120 per barrel at the moment. Right now, it's trading at 118 point seventy. Uh, up about 3.14% on a pre-market perspective. Also with respect to the 10 year yields, it also uh, has risen a little bit, not s significantly, um, currently about 2.9%, which obviously, you know, from weeks ago, we were at 3.2%, so we're still like kind of lingering, but the, the key driver is mainly from the oil. And respect to Dow Jones, S&P 500, and NASDAQ, on a future perspective, we're all down across the board about 0.7%, um, normalizing from, you know, the momentum that we gained from last week, um, you know, ahead of the Memorial Weekend, obviously, right? So what's going to be happening this week is, again, right, just a reminder for us, on the 3rd, uh, on, you know, of the <clears throat> on the 3rd of this, of next month, June, right? Uh, which is Friday, we're going to be expecting the job numbers uh, coming out. And obviously, and then subsequent to that, about a week and a half out from uh, this Friday, we'll be getting the FOMC meeting again. Uh, we'll, we'll be hearing from Jerome Powell on his um, directions and, and, and guidance uh, on the inflationary pressure and what's the interest rates. Uh, proposal that will be hiking going forward. Are we going to be moving forward with the 50 points basis point heights um, in the upcoming FOMC meeting? And are we going to be doing that subsequently as well in the July FOMC meeting as well, right? So again, just to recap, oil fluctuations and with respect to normalization from last week, and also we will see some more volatility coming up uh, ahead of the Friday um, job numbers coming out. Okay, so let's just dive into technicals with respect to recording time of 8.40 a.m. on the Eastern Time. <clears throat> Ethereum is coming back down from the 2000 mark, right? You can see that this is like technical speaking the truth again. Uh, this is not magic, it's just, you know, supposed to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. So it went up to 2000, it got canceled out because that's a resistance level. Any support becomes resistance as you come down, right? And you can see that we were trying to get up to the 45, 50 ish, but you could see that it canceled out, right? Because, um, and that's a level we need to watch, right? Can we break up above to the 50 mark on RSI scale? Because that's a resistance level. And at the same time, um, you know, it's a resistance level on the 2000. So it got canceled out, which is a very natural thing. Um, so it really, you know, contingent on the job number this Friday for us to get back up on the horse to see can we reach 2150 all over again, you know? Um, if we don't, right, we, you know, let's say we get a negative job number, job report coming out, uh, we're coming down to 1860. And at the same time, right now we're at the cusp of it, right? We need to kind of break this, uh, this is kind of like a cup and handle. So what we need to do is basically dip a little bit and then search up from there. Um, contingent, again, on the positive FOMC meeting that's coming, right? Respect to um, Bitcoin, I would see similar affectation, right? We try to get up to the 32,500, but we couldn't. Um, and at the same time right now, we are, you could see that clearly again, we broke the 50 mark um, on our side dipping down because that's a resistance level anytime you hit 50. 
So right now, coming down to the 3,500, I would say very logical, um, contingent again on the job numbers and FOMC meeting, and allow it to kind of consolidate and scoop back up, contingent on a positive uh, outcome in the in the outlook going forward, right? And then with respect to Dim Classic, they're about 5% so far. Um, I would say anywhere from basically 20 downward from here, like all the flat numbers would be logical to DCA. You can see that same thing. We canceled out at 52 out of 70. So again, like it's just the market telling you um, there are blockades ahead of us, um, that the market uh, doesn't have the strongest appetites reaching to the higher levels. Um, so. That, but doesn't tell you know that doesn't convey a message that you shouldn't be trading or swing trading in the respective levels to identify right respect to dogecoin that about three percent eight cents at the moment that about you know three percent um i would say same same thing in affectation right we canceled out and then um coming down to ideally start buying at eight cents all the way to you know some somewhere around seven cents to six cents from here Cardano is up about 10%, 11% so far. Um, and you, you can see that we got canceled out at the 7 cents, uh, 70 cents, sorry. And coming back down to ideally the next comfortable level at the 65, right, on a flat number perspective. With the 54 out of 70 right now, so it seems like momentum is still strong. But you can see that as we got up there and on our side scale, we were basically 65 out of 70, it got canceled out. So, um, probably learn to take some profit short term for Cardano. Um, there are some monumental resistance levels coming up above. Solana up about 1.34%. Now we'll try to get back up on the horse to 50. Uh, you can see that we clearly canceled out again. Um, so it's relatively weak. Um, and if we get negative pressure coming down to 37.94 from here. XRP up about 5%. Um, $41 at the moment. I would say anywhere like on the flat number perspective would we in one of them right now. So 40, 35, 30 respectively. Polkadot's up about 0.5% at $10 at the moment. Uh, I would say we try to get up to 11, which is my next level of resistance. We got canceled out both times. We couldn't get there. Um, so coming down ideally anywhere from $9 below would be logical DCA. Algorand up about 3.25% at 41 cents at the moment. Um, so anywhere for basically on the flat numbers, right? 40, 35, 30 respectively. Shiba Inu is in between levels again, right? 1400 versus 900. Um, so I would say, you know, you can see the momentum's already shifting downwards right now because of obviously with respect to the macro market. Um, but you know, I would say anywhere starting, but you know, beginning at the low 1000, uh, to the 900 will be, you know, when it hits three digits, I think it's a great buying opportunity. Mac tax, uh, 66 cents at the moment, up about 1.5%. Um, anywhere from basically, you know, 60 below is logical. All the flat number 60, 55, 50. And then AVAX, lastly, down about 4%, uh, $26. Um, I would say anywhere from basically 24 below would be logical to DCA based on current setup, but you can see the momentum is shifting down as well. Okay. So hopefully this is helpful. I hope you guys had a great Memorial weekend um, or a great log weekend regardless. Um, and uh, so we'll keep an eye out on how the market will shake out You know, this week. We will, we will see some volatility and we'll see some um, sentiments uh, coming out from investors as the equity market opens that will you know give you some flavor in terms of what's going to be shaking out going forward all the way until obviously on Friday which is the job numbers so appreciate you have a good day and take care bye